Hey guys, what's up? Hello, welcome back to another video of the Scoped Iron Man series. In the last episode, we did a bunch of barrows and we had enough money to make the crystal shield or buy the crystal shield. And we did a bunch of barrows to get the barracks home. And we also got a Carol's top. And this is the gear that we're probably going to be bringing in as our top and our shield and our helmet into the Godverse dungeon. Because we want to do some commanders Ileana so we could try to get the ACB because that'd be kind of cool. And the Varric's Helm is a lot better than just like the Nezzy Helm because even though the stats are around the same and the Nezzy Helm has a ranged bonus, the defense stats are just way too good to like not lose up on. Because in Commander's Ilyana, we're going to be protecting from Mage and we're only going to be hitting by, I mean, protect from Mage and we're only going to be hitting by range the entire time. So as much defense as we can get is going to be really good. And we're going to do some playing around see what the best gear is because there's a lot of like being on what's the best gear to go in but we are like considered like a low level iron man too so we got scuffed gear to play with and i think we're almost ready to go in there but there's just a few things we need to do i think we need to get some more botanical pies we could boost our herbler back up above the 81 so we can make some more serotonin and bruise because i do want some serotonin and bruise so we could extend our trips in the god wars dungeon and i think we could also crush some crystal shards to make some divine ranging pots and we're running low on ranging pots too so Luckily, we got a good amount of wine and Zamrocks from random drops earlier. So let's go get some Bundahanok pies and make some Serdum and Bruce. And also, we got Tears of Guthics too, so I'll do that really first. Fast, first. And the Tears of Guthics goes straight onto Runecraft for usual and for 60th Runecraft. And we also have these caskets in Beginner. We don't get anything. Rune Scimitar Ornament Kit. I think we have one of those already and some ant shrimps and we get the ranger boots a boater oh i think we need a boater for a clue scroll so i guess it's worth it and i need to make some more toad flax because i'm like well we have like 1k toad flax but toad flax goes by pretty fast and we're boosting so i mean toad flax is always good we need to and bruise but yeah that's our first time using this stony basalt to teleport here and i think we yeah this is a new herb patch that we now have unlocked and then after this i get to teleport straight to the top of trollheim i also realized that we have a good amount of food still we have to cook and we're not running out but you know we should just cook all that we have we have the turtles still we got some we can't cook manta rays yet, yet but we have turtles and maybe some sharks left and we'll get back to tempros eventually but that is not on the list to do 81 herbler and now we could actually make serotonin brews without boosting so the rest of these botanical pies i'm just gonna save up for in the future when we want to start just i don't know the higher level like herbler stuff and we're gonna keep doing this and we're gonna make a nice little stack of serotonin brews and we actually made a pretty nice stack of four dose serotonin brews like six mils worth i guess but with these crystal dust that I've been accumulating because I was doing like Isleworth Dungeon for Slayer, or I guess in the future we're gonna do the Priftinus Agility course, we'll be getting a bunch of these, like instead of like Mark's Graces. But by adding these onto the ranging potions where they give us plus 13 and every minute it goes down by one, you could put four crystal dust inside here and it becomes a divine crystal potion. And yeah, it minuses your HP, but it lasts for five minutes per dose, I think. So instead of 13 minutes, it lasts for five minutes and it stays at the maximum range bonus it gives us. So it's 13 range bonus for five minutes versus 13 minutes where it decays by one every one minute. So this is actually going to be pretty nice. I mean, in the future, we'll put this on like super combat potions and our bastion potions and all that. But we do not have vials of blood, nor do we have the herbal level. But yeah, big upgrade. 87 cooking. The fire being here is so nice because it doesn't instantly just drain my sprint. And... For our last prep, I think we just have to go set up getting to Serodomen. So we have to go through this whole Ser God Wars dungeon. And I, if I'm right, I think Serodomen's this. Oh, who hit me for 20? Who hit me for 20? Oh, gosh. And we head down to this area. I don't think we have any Serodomen protection because I'm, oh, I'm getting chunked. I think we got to use one more rope here. And now we have access to... Uh, Commander's Ileana, but we had to get through each door, and even with like all the other like God Wars dungeon bosses, we have to get 40 kills under whatever I don't know allegiance they're under. So to get into Commander's Ileana, we gotta kill 40 Serodomen members, but that's also tedious to do every single time. So I think what I'm gonna do is stay in like the middle of like 
this entire place. And we have Xamarin protection and uh, whatever HD hide protection gives us. And we're just going to tag everybody just like once because since it's multi-combat, everyone's just attacking each other. We sh Why am I getting hurt so much? We should hopefully get some numerical keys, which automatically gives us free access to each door for like no cost, just at the cost of the door. Hold on. Oh, the mage is the one that's destroying me. I think one of the tactics is just to kill the imps all the time, but kind of tedious. So we're just going to be in here and let's try to stack up a few keys. So it makes like this life or this grind a little easier. Also, it doesn't even matter what level these mobs are in here. All of these mobs drop, have a chance of dropping the key in 1 in 60 chance. So, like I said, it's it's a good tactic to just hit everything once and then it'll die by someone else. Hopefully. Actually, this is kind of tedious. I mean, I kind of can probably just jump off them while they're focused on other things. Because it's pretty simple with like having the holy symbol on because that's actually just a Ceridone protection. So, I guess I should learn how to inventory manage and I'll just tough it out with just killing these small guys for now but I guess for like tonight at least I might as well just try farming out keys and then tomorrow if it doesn't if we don't get any keys I'll just try doing the 40 kill count uh method so I just hope we get some keys oh apparently it's not in this Guild Wars dungeon that you can get it you only can get them inside the get me out of this map the wilderness God Wars dungeon so we only can farm the keys in this area, and I don't know how I feel about that. Like, maybe this is a bad idea to just do 40 kills every single time? But I don't know. We haven't even gotten our first kill yet here, so who knows if it's even that bad. So let's figure out how we do this. Hard casket. Bandos page. I never used this spell before, but my contract's dead, my snapdragons are dead, and snapdragons are kind of expensive, so I want to see how this works. So this resurrect crop spell from the RCS spell book has a 50 to 75% chance of resurrecting this crop, but it's 75% at 99 magic, and we are currently at 84, so I'm going to say we have like around a 55% chance or a 60% chance, but come on, bring it back. And we failed. And for good luck for our first Captain Ziliana kill, we're going to get 95 farming. I also haven't really been that like up to up to speed with my farm because I only just do like my farming contracts and all that. But I have like 70 or like 60 Hespori seeds too. So I'm missing out on a lot of XP. But you know what I mean? Like that's a lot of content for later for me to go through. And I'm too lazy to do it because it takes like, well, I mean, it's like just a few minutes of my day to do it. But it's a lot of effort just to gear up and do it every single time but now let's gear up for some god wars dungeons this has got to be some of the most scuff looking outfits i've ever done i mean i'm, I'm still contemplating taking this varic's plate skirt instead of the xamarin chaps because that range bonus goes from 250 or range defense goes from 250 to 300 and we lose only about like 28 30 range bonus but the fact that we haven't done this before i feel like this is the safest route to go but on the other hand just having a non god affiliated so like we have a holy symbol for Zamra for Saradomen and the Zamrak chaps when we're grinding those 40 kills so we can enter the door it's going to be kind of tedious when we get attacked by Zamrak people so I think for our first time we should maybe just take the Zamrak chaps just to see how it feels and then if it gets too hard we can take a break play skirt and we have a good amount of brews some sharks and maybe too many prayer pots that we need to get I'm just really worried about killing just the Bree Growler and Starlight, like the Zamra Zam or Ziliana familiars. And we have our Bones of Peaches to make some extra food if we actually get to kill them. And it might be kind of hard. I just don't know how this is going to work. But some Broad Bolts to kill some of the things and to get the 40 kills. And I just don't want to spend my Diamond Bolts E. So let's go kill 40 with the Zamrock Chaps and see how this goes. Also, we look kind of... <laughs> we, <laughs> we look like a unit. I guess if I actually had like 83 Slayer, this would speed up a little bit because you can't attack a Spiritual Mage unless you have 83 Slayer. So I'm just kind of just running around tagging everyone just a little bit, but this is taking, taking some time. This is pretty terrible, actually. I mean, it's slow. It's easiest way for me, but 
this better mean I have like a long trip. I mean, I kind of just got chunked already, like all my HP because I decided to just 1v1 one of the rangers. But I mean, slow and steady, right? We're also running out of like my broad bolts. I probably should carry more. As much as I want this hard clue scroll, I can't because if you leave here, the kill count res uh, resets. So we're here for a long time. Finally, it only took like 30 something oh yeah like oh maybe a little bit more than 30 minutes so i guess this is a good sign that i probably should actually go get those equinumerical keys it's not that bad to grind out i guess but okay now let's go get ready and see if we can get one kill of Zeliana. we already took a hit because it kind of sucks and if we actually did have that 83 slayer this would have helped out so much faster because there's so many mages and they're getting tagged by so many things and there's, there's just so many mages compared to the other ones, so it's like, it's just... I had to just wait for like the knights and the rangers to get attacked before anything. But yeah, now we finally made it to Commander Zilliana's lair. So let me just mark some tiles and let's get ready for this. Maybe I'll... let's top off my HP at least. So we have Starlight, Growler, and Bree. Bree's the ranger, Starlight's the melee, and Growler's the mage, so... I think we just have to just run to this thing, and I think for us, we're probably going to run counterclockwise the entire time. And we're just going to protect mage, and there is a method to, like, where you could, like, flick between, like, between the range and the melee. But, I don't know, this, let's just hope we can get, I'm just aiming for one kill. I just want one kill. Like, that 30 minute prep time just for this kill, it's going to make it all worth it. Actually, we could probably go clockwise, but now nah, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for counterclockwise. All right, here we go. Put them on. We're uh, instance room for Iron Man, and we just run. Growler's doing work. Ooh, boy. I'll just put on for long range to get me some extra distance, just in case. I should be technically be able to get one hit on each turn, but I'm still learning the distance, so I can't figure out when the right turn. Oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to take a Serdom Brew before game here, I think. To get the extra defense, but I'll pot up. Get some of my prayer back. And I completely forgot to drink this potion earlier. So I keep running around, and now. Let's hope that we can get this. Is that it? Our first Commander Zilliana kill. Let's go. And a frozen piece. I think that's for the frozen door quest. But now we have a minute and a half to figure out to kill the rest of these kids. And we have Bones of Peaches actually. So that's going to be kind of nice. So we can get some HP back. But yeah, that was our first Commander Zeliana kill. That took a while though. Maybe I just, do I just tank this guy? I don't know. I I know a lot of people have blowpipes for this, but we are not cool enough for having blowpipes. And we can't use this altar unless we're out of combat. So I think we'll just try to stand here and tank this. Maybe I try to learn how to pray flick off the ranger and the major. Actually, Commander Zeliana spawning back in. I am happy with one kill. I'll take it. Maybe we switch back to just the the extra defense just in case we mess up, but that actually wasn't that bad. Or do I grind for some Equinumerical keys right now? Maybe I do. But we got one kill! Another small tedious task or thing that blocks us is that apparently when you get Equinumerical keys from the God Wars dungeon in the wilderness, you only can hold one at a time unless you have the wilderness, medium, or hard completed. So you can have four and if four keys if you have medium and four keys of hard, I think, or something like that. So I think this might be, I guess, I guess we got to just crack out all of these wilderness tasks. I don't think I'll do the hard one because that requires me to do Scorpio, Chaos Fanatic, and Chaos Elemental. But I mean, we do have all the requirements to do most of this except for the lead. The lead's way too hard. But yeah, we have enough tasks to just jump straight through the medium one. So let's just get all of these done. I'm not going to show each one. I'm just going to complete them all. 
And if we talk to the drunk lesser fanatic and tell him that we completed his tasks, we get the Wilderness Sword 1 and 2, and a few antique lamps that you know where it goes on to. And now we have access to doing the, or holding the four economical keys. And this Wilderness Sword is kind of cool because it instantly cuts any web without failing. And any notable rewards is more just like, yeah, besides the keys, that's kind of just it. The fourth, the uh, hard diary is actually kind of cool because we could use the shortcuts in the lava maze like over here. So we could jump into down here, but I never go into a lava maze anyway. And we also have this shortcut from Lava Dragon Isle. So we could just jump forward to and from here if we ever get chased by PKers and we need to grind out lava scales or something like that for like Herbor or something. And we also get to be able to choose which location our obelisk teleports us to because the obelisk automatically or randomly teleports you anywhere somewhere in the wilderness and at any of the other obelisks and it's just kind of tedious when you're trying to go somewhere specific. So I mean we do have all the requ requirements to do it but that is not on the menu because I don't think I need to use actually it would be kind of nice for us to teleport from Ferox Enclave to the Gildabur's dungeon but maybe I just switch to our ancient spell book and we just run here and from then we could farm some keys so yeah these go straight on to you know where and now let's see if we can get some ecumenical keys uh, we just try to tap everything once i think we'll probably kill the imps but we have no banos protection but we are pretty safe from everything else so let's hope that we actually find some keys pretty fast here and let me just tag these imps so we can find them pretty fast and now let's try to get, at least, let's try to get at least like three keys. I didn't click record, but we got our first ecumenical key right here. And it, I mean, everything in here has the same, oh, this is rough. Everyone in here has the same drop rate for the key. So, I mean, like, I think I'm probably just going to focus on the imps, like uh, the guides or like the wiki, like uh, suggest, because they kind of just camp on this uh, Bando side, so I think I'll switch out my Armado Bracers to the Bando Bracers that we got before, because the Amps kind of just linger on this side, and the Armado guys just hang out all over there. So, I mean, let's try to get like one or two more keys, and let's get out of here. There's some other people just in the top corner anyway. And this time we're actually opting for a more defensive setup, because we're wearing the Ferrex skirts, so... Actually, wait, am I getting dish? destroyed by this guy right now. Okay, let's hopefully we don't take enough damage we're going in here. Let's go inside here. Shield on and let's get this thing going. Second Zilli on a kill. Ooh, and a small little, whatchamacallit, supply drop. Let's teleport out actually. We don't have enough supplies. I think we just need to switch up how our inventory is. And that actually wasn't too bad. It just takes a while. And then that did cost us ecumenical key. But I don't know. That, was, that wasn't that bad. That was, that was like 8 minutes for a kill. So maybe more stams. I think the defense is good. It just takes long. Unless we want to risk just doing our zami pants instead of this plate skirt. Maybe we'll give it another try. Let me review the first clip and we'll see if you want to take the extra range because it takes weird not hitting her at all. And our third Zilliana kill for some Law Ruins. And another one finally. And that's four kills and I'm probably going to call the run on this one. Art. Ah, give me supplies again. I guess I have to. It's just dealing with these minions is the hardest part about this. Five kills in one trip. That's pretty- Oh, God- God shard. I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. Okay, let's get out of here. And yeah, five kills in one trip. That's pretty impressive for us, actually. And that's going pretty good. I think there's some a little more tweaking with the inventory, and we're going to get pretty good. And if we get God shard pieces two and three, I think we can combine it to one god shard and if we get the hilt from here we can get a Ceridoma god sword if we get the hilt from any other boss which we're probably not going to do for a long time because we're just going to be staying here for a long time we can get the Ceridoma god sword and that'd be pretty cool plus the AC beast on the list I think the god sword is a 1 in 254 for any shard because each shard is 
one in seven sixty two, so a chance of getting a shard is one twenty fifty one in two hundred fifty four. So half the drop rate of the ACD or the hope. Well, let's tweak the inventory. We have one more key to go, and let's see if we can get more than five. And let's get out of here. I think that was only like a two kill trip, a uh, three kill trip. Not the worst, a little worse than our last one. But I mean, every time we go in there, we learn something new and we didn't get a supply drop this time. So I think that we have to go grind out some more keys again and we'll do it again. I don't know what else we need to switch up with the gear. Maybe I'm doing this a little bit wrong. I'm taking too much damage than normal. I mean, I like taking the Sardo and Bruise because it's more healing per slot, but I have to repot every single time. So maybe another inventory change up. I think definitely the hardest part is just dealing with the minions at the very end because like I just don't kill them fast enough where I could utilize this Bones to Peaches and I'm just taking unnecessary damage while I'm killing them. And I'm also thinking that, I mean, I have these Sea Turtles which heal 21 and Mana Rays that heal 22, Sharks are 20. We have these Summer Pies that we have no purpose for and they give a total of 22 HP in two bites and some run energy too. So that's always going to be pretty nice. So that means maybe we could take some summer pies instead of, I don't know, food. I mean, it'll just help out with just sprinting around. I just need to work on my timing and all that. But yeah, every time we go in is something we learn new. So next trip will be number four. I just got to grab more keys and we're going to get the drop for sure. Four kills in one trip and we're getting the hang of it. I think... I think, I think, we go to the tank leg setup because we could just take more Sardom and Bruise and probably extend our trip, but at the cost of just less DPS, I think it's pretty good though because, I mean, it takes like an hour just to get like three or four keys and they're just tedious to get and I want, I want to get good. I want to get a lot of, a lot of kills in per trip, so let's just give another well understanded Commanders of Liana with tank legs run. All in at three kills in one trip. And I think I should probably just put on Zamrock Chaps again. This tanking is kind of annoying, but I'll do the Sarah and Bruise again. And we'll, yeah, we, the no range potions kind of just made these kills too long. Or is just the tank legs. I don't know. I mean, we only got well, how many keys left? We got two keys left to attempt before we have to go spend another hour getting keys. This tactic's possible if I actually brought Bones the Peaches. I had to. I have to teleport out and we're out of keys, but Ancient Spellbook into just Blood Bursting. If you can kill the Major in time, then the rest have like low magic defense. So we could just heal off them as well. And then since we're out of combat, we get access to the altar. But unfortunately, we have to get out. So let's go get some more keys. I'm chased by a PK, but... <laughs> respect the iron man grind i guess and he gave me some tips on like some the blood bursting ideas sounds pretty decent or do the carol's crossbow or i don't know we're, we're gonna keep testing this blood bursting idea but nice guy big ball energy apparently zillion doesn't drop a dragon med home on her normal drop list on the rare drop table which is a drop table that every higher level monster has like a shared drop table they all can drop these we got a Dragon Med Home, which is a 1 in 2032 drop from Ziliana. So that's a lot more rare than the crossbow or just the shards or like the Ceridome and Hilt. So we have two more keys. So <laughs> let's hope that the luck is on our side. I lied. One more key. Let's see how far this gets us. And that's it. The last kill I'm going to do for a long, long time. And that was that wasn't that bad. Look at me out of here. That actually wasn't that bad. We are getting like three to four kills per trip. Mostly just three or two because I'm still like bad and like we're not getting like an RNG or sometimes our stand pots. We just take too many stand pots. So we probably could take like longer trips than normal. But that was actually pretty enjoyable for like how difficult it is. The only like real hard part was just like getting those keys to enter every single time. And yeah, I mean it we are still under leveled and there are definitely like areas we could like increase our stats and like in range and defense so we could like get just not get hit by that range that much and have sort of things lost for a long while so 
I think I'm not gonna get any more keys. That was fun while it lasted. It's like it took an hour to get four keys about, and then each trip is run like twenty to thirty minutes each. And yeah, we got fifty-seven total KC, and the loot actually wasn't that bad. Like on the screen, and the like supplementary drops were like we got like food supply drops, which just helped out every once in a while, but. Unfortunately, we didn't get spoon fed an ACB or like anything special besides like a god sword shard. But all the monsters in the God Wars dungeon can drop a god sword shard. But yeah, we this is actually really cool. Even though we didn't get anything, we actually know how to handle ourselves in the God Wars dungeon. So like maybe if we get like a greater demons task, we can do like the Zamorak boss or something of the sort. I don't know. Well, we have a lot of content to like figure out still, and like I haven't done yet. But yeah, I think it's we should just get back to like Slayers, get our stats back up even more. I think we should get the Blowpipe or the Serpentine Helm from Zora because that would help us out a lot with those minions because those minions were just way too hard to deal with at the end and it also prevents us from using that altar every like eight minutes. And yeah, I mean, that was a pretty fun first Sarah Doman ever run and I think I was getting the hang of it. Yeah, it's just levels. But time to get them back up, and I don't know if I want to AFK yet, or I should just go to Slayer. So, until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.